good afternoon everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel how are you all doing today i hope you are all doing really really well because that would be absolutely fantastic because we love a fantastic sister so today we are doing a review on all of my makeup products that i use in my daily routine because i was going to film a makeup tutorial for Wednesday, but um, it is currently 7.30 at night and I do not have time and I'm losing the light um, to film this, so I decided that I would just film a review video and not a makeup tutorial, but I am going to try, try and film a makeup tutorial for Thursday because that would be fantastic and I will be probably at home and I will have like all day to film it and I will have really good lighting because I do not have any money right now to buy a professional lighting, um, an SD card for my camera, um, an actual, I don't have a room for actually filming. This is just a white wall in my bedroom. So I'm not a professional in any way, shape or form. And I do not, not know how to edit. I try to edit, but this video is not going to be edited at all. This is just going to be full on, straight through, whatever. So I really hope you guys enjoy this review on all my daily routine makeup products. And let's see how it goes. So there's not going to be any like picture here saying my name or anything. They'll just be the stuff at the end of the video um, because I'm not going to be editing this and I actually don't know how to put any of that in. Well, I do, but I don't know how to make it. So, T, let's get on to makeup review. I'm going to move out of the frame so it looks like I'm going somewhere and then I'm coming back. Okay, I'm back. So, in my everyday routine, I like to have a fresh and primed face because that is fun and fresh. So I use the Napoleon Purtis Autopilot Primer and on the back of it it says not to prime is a crime, which Napoleon, it's true. This is not available in the United States or anywhere else across the world, I think. This is only available in Australia. I think this retails for about $50. It is a really, really good primer. It is really nice to use. And it's really easy to put on. It's a good formula. And yeah, all of that. But I would love, love, love to try the Tatcha water cream that I know James Charles uses. And he says that's really good. My mum uses it and so does my brother. But th overall, this is a good primer. And every night when I go to bed, I use the Chanel uh, gel cream moisturizer, I think. I think that's what it's called. It's in like a bluey case with a black lid. And it's really nice. It's really fun and fresh. The next thing I use is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Oil Free Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade Porcelain. This is really, really nice. And it smells nice. It goes on my skin really easily and it matches my skin really easily and it's not a really heavy heavy foundation I have only ever tried I think two two or three foundations that they were all okay but this one out of all of them was the best and the other ones didn't actually match my skin tone but they weren't they were really really heavy but this this is really good this is a really really good foundation it's on the floor, so. Next thing we use is concealer. I use the Chanel Corrector Perfection Concealer in the shade 20. This is nice. It is, it is light and it's not a heavy product. I used to use a Napoleon Purtis concealer which was a bit more yellowy. It was so heavy and cakey on your face and it was so hard to rub in. This blends in really really well. I use this here, here, here. I think there as well. And then for under my eyes I use the 
the Dior, Dior Skin Nude Concealer in the shade Ivory, which is 001. I use this for under my eyes, which it is lighter than my Chanel one, which is good because I'd rather a concealer that would be lighter on my eyes. And I really like this because it's also like the Chanel one. It's really light and it's, it's really nice. It's not cakey. My powder that I use, I don't have it with me, but it's the Napoleon Curtis Camera Finish Look in the shade G1. That is a really nice powder because it's matte, it goes on easily, it's not cakey, and it does, and it looks really nice. And it's really pretty. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at giving reviews on things. I suck at it. I suck at everything. But, and to blend that all in, I use my Flamingo Pineapple of My Eye Limited Edition brush. For my foundation, I use the Flamingo brush, but the foundation one. I also have the rest of the collection of the Flamingo brushes with the pineapples. So leave a comment down below if you want to see me give you a review on these brushes and the Pineapple of My Eye eyeshadow palette. And if you do, I will do one for you in a couple of weeks because I'm going into hospital for a little while and fun and fresh. And I won't be able to do a review if I'm in hospital, but I am filming videos before that so that I still have content while I'm in there. Next thing, to blend all my concealer in, I use a tiny, 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 tiny beauty blender. After I've done all that, I use the Max Fix Plus Gold Light Setting Spray. This is really nice, I would, and I like the gold in it. I would also like to try the Morphe Setting Spray. Never tried it, love to. Morphe, you want to send me a PR package? Girl, I will review you. I will love your products. I love you anyway. Morphe is fantastic. I love their Copper Spice palette, and I really, really wanted the James Charles palette, but it kept selling out. So that's not fine and fresh that I didn't get one. And I only used one eyeshadow palette because my Copper Spice palette is at my house, my other house, and I lost it and I cannot find it and I'm really, really unhappy about that. Or it ran out. Maybe it ran out and I had to get rid of it. And I haven't bought another one. Right, so after all that, I use the Too Faced Contour Palette, the Chocolate Bar. It's nice. It's fun. There's four colors in it. There's the Champagne Truffle Highlight. We love it. We love a good highlight. The Salted Caramel Light Brown. The Semi Sweet Dark One. I used to use that for my eyebrows, but I don't like using powder for my eyebrows. It's too heavy. Then, I, for my contour, I use the Too Faced Chocolate Schwal. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. For my highlight, I don't have that good of a highlighter. I use, I either use the highlight in the Napoleon Purtis little pack, the Prismatic pack palette, but mostly I use the um, Pineapple My Eye highlight shade. Okay. Personally, I don't actually really like that shade because I find it too rosy when you put it on your cheeks. It's still rosy when off camera or on camera and I find it, it looks like you've mixed blush and highlight together and it really doesn't look that good. Personally, I rather the Too Faced Heart Shaped Eyeshadow. Not eyeshadow, why did I say eyeshadow? God, what am I talking about? Highlight. I don't know, I can't remember what shade it is, I just know that my brother used it on me once. Then I set all that in place once again with the Max Fix, MAC Fix Plus Gold Light Setting Spray. For my eyebrows, I use two things. Sis. I don't have an eyebrow pencil. T. So I use a black mascara, I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Not the waterproof one, I hate the waterproof one. I hate waterproof mascaras, they're gross. Then I also use, just after that, to blend it in, and so I can actually brush my eyebrow, the Makeup, Makeup Forever 
beige um, bra gel in the shade 15. T. Next, I obviously do my eyes. God, what kind of a person would I be if I didn't do eyes? So mostly for my eyes, I use the Pineapple My Eye eyeshadow palette or the little Napoleon Purtis Prismatic palette. At the moment, I don't have any eyeshadow palettes, any other eyeshadow palettes with me because I'm at my dad's. But at my mum's, I do have a few more, but my favourite one that I have so far is the Pineapple My Eye eyeshadow palette. Because as you can see in the palette, there is lots of shades and they're all quite pretty. Then after that, we do eyelashes. At the moment, I don't actually have any other makeup on except for my eyelashes. So I don't actually have any fake eyelashes. Because I'm too lazy to go out and buy them. Because I haven't had any time. So I use the <clears throat> Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's good. It's not too heavy. I mm, I used to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. But I don't like the brush for my eyelashes. And it's too heavy. So I use the Tarte one. Oh, the right side. The Tarte one. And that's good and fresh and fun. It is, it really is, and it's nice. So, if you guys want me to do the review on the whole Pineapple of My Eye limited edition collection with the brushes, the palette, the eyeliner, the Sex Kit and Light eyeliner, Lights Camera Lashes, and the Little Tarte Balm lipstick, I will, because that all came in the pack. That was actually a Christmas present for me from my brother and his boyfriend, Sebastian. Shout out to at Zero Royalty on Instagram and at Sebastian J Andrew on Instagram. T. Link will be down below for Instagram. Um, next, I just go over it with my Matte MAC Fix Plus Gold Light Setting Spray. I've said that like three times already, so I bet you're all kind of getting over it. So, I'm not putting an outro in because I'm not actually, I'm not editing this video, which I've already told you. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick, quick little tip video on my daily makeup routine and my, well actually no, it wasn't a routine video, it was just a review video on all of these. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, hit the big red subscribe button down below and the little bell notification button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video, which will probably be Thursday, um, uh, yeah, Thursday. And then I will be in a hospital for 10 days, but I will still be uploading videos for you guys so that you can see how good I am at makeup, even though I'm not actually that good. So let's have a little spritz, even though I don't actually really have any makeup on. We love a sister spritz. So once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the big red subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications. Everything will be down below, all my daily makeup products will be all down below in the description so that if you want to go and buy them, you can. And links to my Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter all will be down below so that you guys can go follow me on all of them. And I'm not going to tell you them because I'm too lazy to remember them and actually say them all. So I will see all of you guys next Thursday when I upload a makeup tutorial or the review on the pineapple of my eye limited edition collection. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you sisters then. Bye!